I'd like to welcome you to this video. This is a tutorial on using the Wi-Fi 104 uh, for the trim light select system. First things first is we've got to control the lights. We need to log into the Wi-Fi signal that the Wi-Fi, uh, that the trim light select system is broadcasting. So first thing, open your settings, go to your Wi-Fi, and ensure you are connected to your Wi-Fi 104 SSID. Once that's connected, open the application, go to the device menu, and you will see uh, it should pop up showing that you're connected. So this is showing that it's connected with the little Wi-Fi signal and it says connected to Wi-Fi 104. If you click on that, you are now connected into the system. Now a few things I'm going to point out on our system. On the application, the top bar is the RGB codes that you can put in to connect to get the exact color that you would like. You can adjust them incrementally. The next system down is a dimmer switch that allows you to dim down and make the, the lights less bright or more bright. Uh, the next system down is the color palette that allows you to choose the colors that you would like. Uh, within that color palette is our mode button, which if you click on that allows you to go to the defined or the default colors and patterns, but it also allows you to go in and save under a custom feature that we'll show you in a minute. Uh, the next section down is the different strands that you have. So I'm going to turn it on now so this one's highlighted one so you can now see it is being controlled to green. If we turn it over to blue, pink, red, all the different colors. Key to that is the higher up on the scale you go, the deeper the color becomes. If I want to turn on my next strand of lights, I would just click on number two to turn on that strand and be able to control those appropriately. Uh, the bottom buttons on the system, one is the device menu that gets back to where you were connecting into the device originally. The next feature is the on off. You can turn that on and turn it off very easily right through the phone. The more feature allows you to do multiple things. One is group setting. So if you click on group setting, you can create a group so that these are grouped together. So if you click on groups, you can highlight the two strands that you have, group it, and then as you come back, you will now notice it says group on the bottom. If you click on that and then you drag your finger or go to whatever pattern you want, you will see that they are grouped and they're acting as one control. The mode button is simple. You push on the button and it allows you to get all the different colors that is there. Now, currently I have that grouped so that they're both acting as one strand. So if I come back to my mode button, every time I push a different button, they're acting as one. Now if I'd like to turn that off, I can go back and ungroup it. But let's play with the mode first. So the first under the default mode is 12 different default codes or patterns or colors that are unable to be changed. They're in there permanently as a manufacturer's recommendation. Now, as you go through it, you will see it saying different wording above it. For example, jump, if it's a solid color, it's jumping from solid color to solid color, but it's one color, so it doesn't move. That would basically be considered a static color. All of these shown as static colors. Now if I would like this color to jump or dance or anything in that nature, if I push and hold on that number, it brings up this feature. Gradual, jump, strobe, fade in and dimming. So I can click on fade in and dimming and you will now see that the lights are fading in and out, in and out slowly. Now if I would like that uh, timing sequence to go a little faster. I can just click on here and now it's going to be fading in and out a little faster. 
any color that's there, I can do the same thing. So right here, my number seven looks like I've got it on strobe light. Uh, fade in and dim, I can also, if there's multiple colors, so this is a uh, green and blue, I can click on it and say I would like this to gradual. Now it's going to rotate through green and blue slowly, so you're going to get a little bit of different colors in those lights as it's rotating slowly through it and gradually changing through it. I can shut that back off and say I want it to jump, and now it's going to jump back through the blue and green. Now, on the custom features, if you go to custom, you can then change any one of these all you want. So for example, here's one with four different colors. If I do not want those colors to be appearing on this system, I would just go to edit and I can change these colors all I want. So this one is highlighted, so I can change that red Let's go up to that green. Now you can see it's green, blue, uh, pink, green. Well, I don't want that combination because as that repeats, that means two greens are going to be next to each other. So I'm going to go over here and highlight that green and say I want that to be white. Now apply. And now I've got those four colors in a row going through. Now. Another thing that you can do when you're in there is if you don't want those four, you can push and hold on it and it'll delete one or delete another. If I want to add more, I can just put in another color and another color and another color to all I want, whatever pattern that I want to do. So now when I apply it, it's now going to rotate through all eight of those colors that we had just pre-programmed. I can edit that and delete them just by pushing and holding on the, on the boxes of the colors that I do not want. Again, you can change the timing and you can change the brightness. Now I'm going to show you the timing feature. First thing, you will need to set up two scenes. So let's find out which color. If I want it to turn on blue tonight, solid blue, both strands, I'm going to go up here to blue, and I'm going to save that as my lights color. Okay. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off the system and save that as my scene four off. Now I'd like to label my scene four so that I always remember that that one is set for off. So now when I come in here and shut it off, I'm going to resave that as off. So I know now my scene four is off and my scene one is double blue. So I'll come in here to my more timing settings and I'm going to add a time that I would like this system to turn on. Now this is set up for 1900 hours and 27 minutes which means 7 o'clock. It's military time. So I would like that to turn on at 7 o'clock p.m. which would be 1900 hours. Now I'm going to select which scene I would like to turn it on at. So I want my lights that I had saved for the blue to turn on at 1900 hours. And I want that to turn on every day. Finish. Now I've got one sequence that is pulled up that shows me that I'm going to have my lights turn on at 7 o'clock every day and the lights that I had saved for blue will turn on. Now, it now needs a sequence to shut off. So I'm going to go in and add another scene, and I want this time for it to turn off at 2300 hours, which would be 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock p.m., I'm going to have my system shut off. 
Now I want to make sure that I choose the next scene, which was we saved as off. It is now highlighted, and I want that to happen every day. Finish. Now it's saved. It is now saved into the system that every day my lights will turn on at 7 o'clock and shut off at 11 o'clock. If I would like this sequence to no longer be happening, where I manually turn it on or I just don't want my lights on every night, I can just purely shut those off and they will no longer come on until I manually turn them on. Now this timing sequence is set up. I'm now going to show you how to set your system up onto your home network. Now please understand that not all home networks will allow another Wi-Fi network to connect to it. So please consult your manual of your Wi-Fi router or your Wi-Fi provider or the manufacturer of the Wi-Fi router to ensure that it allows another Wi-Fi network to connect. Again, this is not a device that is connecting to it. It is a Wi-Fi network, and many routers do not allow that. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to the device menu. You're going to find your system that you're connected to. Make sure you are connected into the Wi-Fi 104 on your Wi-Fi. You go into network, connect to an existing LAN, Find your network and put in your password. If everything connected properly, it will say on the bottom, connected to your home network, and you are now connected into your system. It may take several tries, but also, if it still does not, you will need to contact your router manufacturer to see if it will allow another Wi-Fi device or a Wi-Fi router to connect to that router. Uh, if you're connected in, you then have full capability without having to log in and out of your Wi-Fi system into the Wi-Fi 104. If at any time you are unable to connect into the Wi-Fi 104 in order to change your lights, you may need to do a reboot on the Wi-Fi 104 router. To reset your router would be find the two buttons on the side Push them both with a hard press and hold until the unit makes a long beep. At that point, let the Wi-Fi router completely reboot and it will then come back up on your system.